Local 10, we're getting a behind the scenes look at the U.S. Coast Guard dealing with this unprecedented surge of migrants in recent days. And Local 10's Janine Stanwood has been actually riding along with Border Protection agents in the Keys. She's joining us live right now from Key West with this exclusive. And I know this is a real crisis and taxing to so many people. Uh, a real crisis on all levels here in South Florida and especially here in the Florida Keys. In fact, you know that about 330 migrants over the New Year's weekend ended up being stranded in the Dry Tortugas. This is a national park with limited resources, limited water, and just about an hour ago they arrived here in Key West. I want to show you video. This is video of that Coast Guard cutter bringing all of those migrants in. Uh, they left uh, last night. They made the slow roll here here to the Coast Guard sector in Key West. And I also want to show you video from just within the last 20 minutes. This was a caravan of several chartered buses that were escorted by Florida Highway Patrol as well as Miami-Dade Police. Those buses now arriving here at the Coast Guard station to get all of these migrants for the uh, long and arduous task of eventually processing them here in South Florida. New images of some of the 330 plus migrants in line in Fort Jefferson being fitted with life jackets by Florida Fish and Wildlife officers and put on smaller Coast Guard vessels before being transferred. Soon afterwards is when we arrived when the group was on this larger cutter after being stranded on the dry Tortugas for days. Forcing the Park Service in an unprecedented move to temporarily shut down the park. So that is Fort Jefferson in the distance. We are just offshore. Take a look right over here. This is the Coast Guard cutter and you can see those are some of the migrants on the bow of that boat. Right now they are waving. They have been rescued. They will eventually be taken back to Key West. This comes after a surge of migrants from Cuba and Haiti have arrived in the Florida Keys, testing law enforcement on every level. This night we ride once again with Air and Marine Operations, a special team of U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents who are encountering people in homemade boats like this nearly every day. It has become a non-stop every day, all night, all day uh, event for us. U.S. Border Patrol reporting a record increase in landings in the Keys up and down the island chain. Agents on the ground and in the water say the risks are not worth it. People from Cuba and Haiti have told us over the last year they are desperate. Let me back, I come back again. You'll just keep coming back mm -hmm. till I stay. Uh, something life, you have to risk a life. They're coming across in vessels that are, are uh, shoddy at best. Every day we wonder how many didn't make it. So once again, here at the Coast Guard sector in Key West, those buses that were escorted in, they are behind this wall. You can't see them, but likely right now the process is beginning of getting those migrants onto those buses, onto and into Border Patrol stations in South Florida. We've seen the process. They are uh, checked over. They are fingerprinted for criminal records. Many of these Cubans, at least in our experience, if they have no criminal history, the paperwork begins. They may uh, begin the process uh, after being a, a technical arrested they get a court date and if they do have family here in South Florida many say they hope to stay in the meantime we're here in Key West I'm Janine Stanwood local 10 news just unprecedented all right thanks so much Janine